What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Tech Rods, and I'm back for another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. Now, this is going to be part two of that Journey 3 pack openings, but there's only going to be two packs. One of the things I want to direct your attention to is the top of your screen where my coin count is at. That's right. A lot of you guys pointed out in the comment section that those rookie premier collectibles that I got sold for a bunch, and they did. I got about 40k for the for for one of them. It was the one that was not the Ezekiel Elliott one. I can't remember where it is now. And I got 80k for the Ezekiel Elliott one. Plus, I sold a whole bunch of other things. Gold badges are going for a crazy amount. They're going for like 5k right now. So I got some pretty good gold uh, coins off of that. And I still got a whole bunch of other stuff to sell. So I was supposed to do two updates for this episode, but while I was thinking what I should do, I said, you know what, let me take a step back because you guys were basing the update recommendations that you were giving me on the amount of coins that I had. So we still have two updates in the bag. I want you to think about those guys. You've looked at the offense on the screen. The defense is now gonna be on your screen. So we're gonna go ahead and play our game and try to clinch a first round buy with this squad. But if we lose, obviously, we're only going to have two, which is what we came in with. If we win, we'll have three. If we win and cause a rage quit, we'll have four. But a lot of you guys are also giving me some recommendations. Like people were telling me, hey, Tech, go ahead and upgrade the tight end spot. Put final edition Tyler Eifert on there. But you got to remember, Tyler Eifert goes for 60,000 coins. I'm not telling you not to recommend that update, but I'm just saying you have to think about how many coins we have to spend. If this was just a squad builder thing where I would ask you guys to update the squad, obviously we can go for whatever. So pretty much think about that. Now, as far as the packs that we had left, there was only two, and it was a game changer pack and an ultimate pack. So let's jump right into that. Now, in our first Game Changer pack, the cool thing is, guys, what I've been seeing, man, we can get some more of those rookie premier collectibles since I have no plans, as we get a base elite right there, since I have no plans of actually doing any of those sets on the PlayStation because I wanted to do a no money spent squad, those are going to sell for a lot, so you know we're automatically going to sell those. Now, going into our ultimate pack, let's see what we can get out of that. Already out of that first pack, I think what we're going to be able to pull is already gonna net us a pretty good amount. All these gold cars, guys, going into those sets, especially with how much gold badges are selling for, it, that's a crazy come up as far as coins go. And right there we get an out of position, or sorry, a road to the playoffs, Julius Peppers. Doesn't sell for a lot, but it's gonna sell for enough to give us some pretty good upgrades right here in that next episode. And, and we get a movers, Chris Ivory. Oh snap, this card had 94 speed, 99 truck, 98 juke move, 96 ball carry vision. Not a bad card. I'm not for sure how much it goes for, but that's a pretty good upgrade. All right guys, so you already saw the squad at the beginning of the episode. Let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. So we have a record of seven and one in rookie first string. Let's see if we can get that first round by. All right, so here we go, NRG Stadium one more time. Start thinking guys in advance, because for every season, I want to make sure that I update the uniforms, even though basically, this is our last week of Madden 16 content. It's crazy to say that, but next week, towards the end of next week, we're going to be releasing those Madden 17 videos for you. How crazy is that to think about, huh? All right, so here goes nothing. First and 10, my opponent has the ball. And he floods us on the first play. Nice, nice completion there. All right, here we go. Third and seven. Let's see what he's going to do. I think he's going to do maybe a four verticals here. And that's what he goes. He goes with the four verticals. He's going to roll out to the right, throws it up. But we almost get the interception. So we pretty much shut down what my opponent did there on the first drive. He's going to go for it now. Play action. Throws it up, and he was able to make that catch and get it completed. I didn't play deep enough. All right, so here he is. He's probably going to call that play-action pass he called on fourth down. Third and 12. Let's see what he's going to do. Throws it up, and he gets the catch. We can't react in time there. He called it audible, so I don't know if there's going to be a quarterback sneak. It's not. It's a play-action pass, and he's able to get the pass completed. 
Look like looks like cover two is just gonna be a scheme the whole time, and he gets a nice play there. Ooh, this is actually cover three. And we get the completion, but was that a first down? It was not. It was not. Gonna come out in the gun split close one more time. Tries to call the HB wheel. He's gonna roll out to the right, throw it up, but that was super inaccurate. Now my opponent came out in a lot of cover two and a lot of cover three, but he also did a really good job of disguising it. Here, we're gonna throw it up right there, and unfortunately, he just had a single coverage look up top, so we're able to score a touchdown on our first play in that second drive. All right, we go third and two. Third and two for my opponent. Let's see if he's gonna do that four verticals play again. And he throws it nowhere. It's gonna be fourth and two now. All right, he's gonna go for it on fourth down. He has that gun offset tight end look. He throws it up. There's somebody there and he can't get the aggressive catch. We're gonna get the ball back. So my opponent's been calling nothing but zone. I'm gonna try to run the ball at him, see if we're successful with this. Ooh, a nice run by Portis. We're gonna get to the red zone. Right, he's been calling a lot of cover for a drop on this drive. Let's see if he's gonna call that again. If he's gonna call that again, we're gonna have a route wide open on the side. We throw it up and I can't get anything completed. All right, here we go third and 20 for my opponent. Throws it up and gets the completion. There was nobody there in that area. All right, here we go third and 21. Five wide formation. So nobody extra back to block for him at all. Throws it up, guys. We're, oh, and he gets the completion from the catch. I totally misread that. I didn't expect the ball to hang up there like that. That's freaking crazy. Comes out in a different formation, third and 10 for my opponent. Rolls out, dumps it off to the running back. Time's still winding down. First and goal. Oh my gosh, and my linebacker did not even make a play on the ball, and he caught that right by my linebacker. All right, here we go, first and 10. We have 33 seconds to make something happen. Just 33 seconds. We throw it deep. Let's see one on one, and Mike Wallace can do something. And he, Mike Wallace catches it. He's off to the races, and we get a touchdown with time winding down in the half. All right, here we go, second and five. And we throw it up, and we get another catch with Mike Wallace, and apparently he didn't get touched. So he's still in good shape. We're gonna stay in that same formation and see what he calls. There's not a lot of people to stop the run in the middle of the field here. When we throw it to the outside and we get another completion to Wallace. Clock still winding down. This guy, as far as run stopping, doesn't have a lot of options here. Calling a lot of DBs on the field. All right, first and goal from the five. So I haven't called the toss, but I'm gonna to call one here. See if we have any success with that. And we do, we go to the outside and we get a touchdown. Third and 10. Let's see what he's gonna do here. He throws it up deep. I do have a cornerback out there, but he keeps getting that same animation and is able to get the completion. All right, second and six for my opponent. And he's gonna actually rush with his quarterback. Second and five. Throws it out to the corner and he scores a touchdown. Closely, closely competed game, guys. So my opponent's been calling a lot of man. I threw that late, but we still completed. Here we go, second and ten. Second down and ten. We throw it up and we get another completion. And there's just too many defensive backs on the field right now for him to get any kind of pressure or anything like that on us. Now, for some reason, my opponent cut a timeout right before the two-minute warning. 
not very smart because that gives him less clock management as he moves on. Now he needs to be calling a timeout here at some point. Doesn't look like he's doing it. And he's, he's just wasting a lot of time for himself. We call another toss and he overruns it badly and we get another touchdown. All right, so here we go. My opponent's in a specific formation. He's gonna go out and scramble now. We're gonna let him scramble because I just want him to waste his time. He's gonna go and scramble once again and we stop him. I'm gonna give him that every time, guys. All right, second and 10 for my opponent. Now I do have a quarterback spy and this is cover three. So let's see if we can fall for it. He throws it up deep. He might get the aggressive catch and he does get the aggressive catch. First and goal, 24-31. My opponent needs a touchdown and he gets a touchdown. So it's overtime and we get the ball guys. And we get the ball. Can we drive and score some points? So what we have on the line is a first round bye. Granted, we can get it before, but you never know what's gonna happen. We wanna make sure that we go all the way with it. All right, here we go, third and 11. And we get a nice little completion on third down. And here we go, and Portis is off to the races, guys. That's gonna be it for my opponent. A lot of respect to my opponent, though. He was pretty good, guys. I mean, granted, he got bailed out by aggressive catch over and over and over again, but still, defensively, he was calling different coverages, mixing it up, great stuff there, but unfortunately, he just had no answer to the running game whatsoever, so he wasn't able to get a victory. We were able to pretty much beat him in every category except passing. He had, he had more, like, long completions that we had, but no turnovers from any side there. That was a great game. All right, so we are now in the divisional round. We have three upgrades for next episode and 182,000 coins, guys. So make sure you're getting into the comment section and you're letting us know who we should pick up. So obviously, here's the offense. Here's the defense, guys. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given the channel. We got one week left of this to go, and then it's an all-out blitzkrieg of Mad17 comment content coming your way so go ahead and like guys to support the channel subscribe if you're new but most importantly take care of yourself peace